What's up, guys? Gentleman Jim coming here to you this evening, uh, bringing you a Yabo. Yet another box open. This one looks like it's from a Ramblin' Scotsman. I. Uh. Me and him have talked about this. Didn't know when, uh, hadn't, you know, planned out a trade or anything, but he said he was going to send me some tobaccos. So I'm going to see what we got in here. I'm going to load me up a box and send it back his way. And, uh, the product placement this evening. This was my grandpa's GBD 1970 prehistoric. He chewed through the stem, so I cut it off, sanded it, and uh, put a clear vinyl tubing on it. This evening, oh, I've got plants of slices in it. Tastes a lot like my Amos Moses that I was smoking on one of my first videos. Very tasty. Kind of got like a tomato taste to it, like a ketchup almost. But, not to waste your time, I'm going to get this box open, see what's in it. And tonight I'll be using my leather man again. <laughs> well, there goes that lighter. Didn't like it anyways. Ew. Maybe am I opening this wrong one? No. Let's see here. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Holy cow. Dude. Box note for Gentleman Jim. Jim, hoping things are going well deep in the heart of Texas. Please feel free to enjoy the tobacco in this box. Keep what you like and pass on the rest to your wonderful YouTube pipe community. Thanks for what you do and entertaining us on YouTube. God bless Scott Donnelly, the Ramblin' Scotsman. Another note to add to my board. I do like Mr. Danny Shore, and I'm going to have me a board up. And uh, everybody that sends me stuff. See here. Drew Estate, Grand Central. Smells good. Not a huge aromatic fan, but I love smoking pipe. And I will smoke just about anything. I'm going to try to sample every tobacco that I possibly can. Your estate toasted black cavendish. Smells good. Smells really good, man. Peterson Irish whiskey. I think the first time I got some of this was from Philip. Brodinski, and I called it Irish Peterson whiskey. <laughs> Do some research, Jimmy. Smells good. I haven't had a tobacco that smelt bad yet.
just for time's sake, I'm not going to smell every one of these because there's a lot. But, got some, no way, Hobbit's weed. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to smell that one. Mmm. <clears throat> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll be smoking some of that later on tonight. Wow. See what the rave is. Thank you, Mr. Reynolds. Rambling Scotsman. Downhill early, early morning pipe. I will be sending this on because I just got a brand new tin of that. That will be going on to another man. Uh, McAllister Square. English Oriental Supreme. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love English. Love it. Not a bad deal. Lane 1Q. That's a, uh, a good smoke to have. If you got a bunch of crybabies around that don't like the smell. I'm not going to call them crybabies. If you don't have, if you got a bunch of people that get irritated with the smell of smoke, don't like English smell, the less good smelling tobaccos, that's a good smoke around people. I already read that one. Sorry, don't mean to waste your time. What do we got here? Ooh. McBaron H and H Dark Fired. Been wanting to try that one. And really want to try that one. Meat pie. Tried that the other night for the first time at the Briar Shop on Monday evening. Mr. William 043, let me hit a piece of that. I liked it. Drew Estate Central Park. Stall, I guess. That's what it looks like it says. Stall. Uh, Drew Estate, 7th Avenue. Man, this guy loves his Drew Estate, apparently. Or didn't, and decided to give the rest of it to me. Drew Estate, Harvest on the Hudson. And... Boda Pipe, Buttered Rum. I guess that's the same place that I got the uh, English Oriental. That smells sweet. Those are all significant amounts of samples. Mr. Ramlin Scotsman, I will load me up some Ziplocs and send them your way. And uh, I'm going to get on off here. I get to go put in a transmission. The other night I was taking out a transmission, now I'm going to put it back in because he got the clutch in, finally came in at the auto parts, so we're going to go put that sucker in. Hopefully before dark. It is right around 6 o'clock right now, I think. And i got one question for everybody. Why is it that some comments come through, but yet some of them you got to go in and approve them? Uh, it says warning could be spam, whatever. And uh, you got to actually approve the comment. <clears throat> before it shows up, before you can even read it. But uh, if anybody has an answer to that, I'd like to know. If it's something I'm doing on my end, I'd like to fix it. And if it's something that the other, I think I've had three guys do it, um, maybe I can contact them and say, hey, you might want to go look at something, something and uh, get it fixed up. Hey guys, I'm going to get off here. It's already almost at the 10 minute mark. And as always, enjoy your smokes and keep them lit.